Creating custom reports in LotWizard. There are two places in LotWizard that you can create custom reports. One of them is Inventory List. On the far right, if you go to the very last tab, Inventory List, you'll notice we have a Report Designer button. You can create custom reports out of here. And we can also create custom reports out of Deal History tab, which is the second one on the far right. You'll notice we have a Report Designer button here also. Today we're going to be creating a custom report out of the Deal History tab. So go ahead and click on Report Designer and your Report Designer window will open. If you notice up top it says Report Hitter Title. This is what prints at the top of the report. I'm going to create a report that's going to show the profits in 2007. So I'm going to label it 2007 Profits. And then you come down to Report Line 1. On the far right you can click Add Field a few times. This will put spaces in Report Line 1. Uh, the first space, I want to I want to see the date of the sale. So I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to go down to deal date. And once I see it, I'm going to click on it and it'll enter it in the first space. Move over to the second space. I'm going to come down to ye year of the vehicle, which will be model year. And once you find it, go ahead and click on it. The third space I'm going to place in Make, scroll down to the M's, and once you find Make, go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to, the next space, Model. And go ahead and click on it. So we have Date, Year, Make, Model. I'm going to add one more field. And this one I'm going to scroll down to Profits on Sale. So once you find it under the P's, go ahead and click on it. And you'll notice there's a preview button down at the far left. This is for design purposes only. This will not bring up the real data. Brings up data randomly, but go ahead and click on it. And it brings you up a preview of what it will look like. And if you notice, some of my make is running into the model. So I'm going to need to spread that out a little. And I want to call the first field, I just want to call it date up top here. And model year, I just want to name year. And to the right, profit on sale, I just want the word profit in here. I also wanted to total this field up at the bottom with a grand total. And in the first field, I would like to get a count of every line that printed. So I'll do this once I get back into Report Designer. Let's go ahead and close the preview window out. And we're back into Report Designer. The very first field, let's get it. click on it. Make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to come down to the bottom, hitting. I want to click in there and just get the word date in there. I also wanted to count this field. Count how many lines print it. So down to Total Calculation. Drop that down and I want to choose count. Now let's go over to model year. Click on that field. And I'm going to click in the hitting box. And I'm going to get the word year in there. And then we're going to come over to between make and model. We wanted to make sure there was space in between there. Two ways to do it. First way is if you point in between the two fields. If you point at the bottom, nothing will happen. If you point to towards the top of the two fields, you'll notice your cursor will change. So at the bottom, nothing. At the very top, you get the cursor to change. And once you get it to change, you hold down your left mouse button, and you can drag it to the right to make it wider. Now the other way, you can um, highlight the make field. And you come down to the bottom here, the width, you can actually go in here and change the width. I'm going to put 2 in here, and you'll notice when I click out of there, the field gets much wider. So I'm going to go ahead and back it off a little bit here with the first, first method. And maybe a little bit larger. Now let's go over to Profit on Sale. Once we highlight this field, I want to come down to the heading. We just wanted the word Profit in there. And we want it to sum up at the bottom. So we make sure total calculation, we come down and we make sure sums in there. 
Now that we made our design changes, let's go into preview and look at them. So down at the bottom left, click on preview. And the preview window will open. If you notice, up top here we have date, year, make, model, and profit. Now if we scroll down, we should have a grand total at the bottom of profit. And on the left, we have a total count. So go ahead and close the preview window button, window out. And that looks good. Now to save this report, down at the bottom you want to click Save. And it'll ask you for a report name. I'm just going to type in 2007 profits. Go ahead and hit OK. And I'll say 2007 profits was saved. Click OK. And you can close Report Designer out now. Now to run your report, go to the far left, click Print Report, choose 2007, and click OK, and your report will open. You'll notice it prints all customers in Dell history. The report prints everything that's displayed on the screen. So what we need to do is filter out 2007 customers. Let's go ahead and close this report out. And down at the bottom left, we're going to starting deal date. Click on the calendar to the right, and we're going to go back to 2007, and then we'll go back to January. Choose January 1st, and then come down for the ending date, click on the calendar, come back to 2007, and we're going to go up to December. Choose December 31st, and then on the right, we need to click Apply Filter. You'll notice on the screen here it only shows customers from 2007. So now if we print report our 2007 profits, you'll notice it only prints 2007 customers. Now if you want to edit this report, for example if you want the dates to be in ascending order, we'll close out of the report window here and we'll go back into report designer. Once your report designer window opens, we need to click load at the bottom and we'll load our 2007 profits. Click OK and you notice it loads. Down at the bottom right here you can sort by a specific item and we want to sort by date. So we'll scroll down to deal date. Choose deal date and then we need to click save at the bottom. Say 2007 profits was saved, click OK, and then click Exit. Now if we run the report, click Print Report, choose 2007 profits, click OK. We notice it only shows 2007 customers and the dates are in ascending order. Now if you have multiple pages, it'll tell you how many pages you have up here in the top left. If you have more than one, you can click the arrow to the right and it'll show you the second, third page, and so on. If you want to magnify it, you can click the magnification button. And when you're ready to print it, go ahead and click the printer icon. So this is how you create a custom report and print a custom report in Lot Wizard. So we can go ahead and get out of this window and make sure when you're done printing your report, you clear the filter on the bottom right just by clicking clear filter. So that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.